How you doing? This is Nathaniel Social Swap Set, and today I want to talk about Shannon Sharp. As you've seen in the video, the video was Shannon Sharp's last goodbye to the show Undisputed on Fox Sports Net. As he said goodbye to Skip Bayless, he had worked with Skip Bayless for at least seven years. Um, there was an incident where they talked about Tom Brady, and Shannon Sharp discussed about uh, his greatness versus Tom Brady's greatness. Um, Skip Bayless. In a sense, a lot of people think Skip, Skip Bayless disrespected Shannon Sharp over Tom Brady, and Shannon Sharp reacted as, well, how, Skip, how could you say that about me? The, they started referencing the Super Bowls, and I believe Shannon Sharp said, how could you talk to say something about me like that when I've been working with you for so long? We're good friends. Um, and it's, it's though uh, Skip Bayless took the side of Tom Brady over Shannon Sharp. Um, a lot of people felt that Shannon Sharp was disrespected, and uh, with that being said, our next couple of shows, Shannon Sharp even felt that he was disrespecting in type of way and decided to say his goodbyes and leave the show. Uh, recently, Shannon Sharp did an amazing interview with um, Cat Williams on his Uncle Shay Shay podcast. Now, Uncle uh, Shay Shay, the podcast is a podcast that he does on YouTube. That podcast also left that was run by Fox Sport Nest. I'm not sure if he had a YouTube channel at that time, but now Uncle Shay Shay is a podcast turned into a YouTube channel that I believe he runs on his own. And that interview is almost up to 20 million views. Um, Uncle Shay Shay is already at 1.6 million uh, subscriber. He also started a nightcap with uh, him and Ocho Cinco which is already at 600,000 subscribers. I just want to say congratulations to Shannon Sharp and all the amazing th things that he's done since leaving uh, Fox Sport Net. Congratulations on the amazing things you did with with Fox Sport Net as well. Now, some of the things mentioned on uh, Facebook that he's been doing since leaving Fox Sport Net. Of course, he joined ESPN's first take with Stephen A. Smith. Um, of course, again, he started the nightcap with Ocho Cinco. He's been named number one most entertaining sports media personality by Complex. And he also, again, he just had the biggest interview of his career with, uh, on Club Shay Shay with Cat Williams. Um, now has 23.9 views in less than a week. And again, he's up to 1.6 subscribers. So congratulations, Shannon Sharp, for just betting on yourself and starting starting your own thing, going to a, going to a new network. Uh, bring your podcast to YouTube and just killing it. And this is um, something similar. Like I went, I went through getting uh, fired and let go from Ch Chicago Public Schools. I was at Chicago Public Schools for 11 years, and I was fired and let go. And um, even before I put my uh, resume out to find other school districts, um, you know, I didn't know if I could find another job i didn't know if i anybody else would want me to work for them or if i would enjoy another school district as much as i enjoyed working with chicago public schools uh, but i put my resume out there and i got a job with waukegan public school district now it's a long drive but it was one of the best things for me um we get uh we get extra overtime out there we about to, you know possibly make it a, a new huge contract possibly and um, the kids are, you know, amazing, uh, kind of principal. It's very personable. Um, and also, it's with it being a smaller district, I can reach out to the superintendent. The superintendent's son goes to our school. I can reach out, call the superintendent, talk to any of the superintendents. If I have an issue, the superintendent comes up to the school. So it's been grateful for me. It's very similar to me going to Chicago State University because it's a small university. And I, I like a small environment. Waukegan has been that small environment where I could just reach out and talk to people and uh, just being a great environment and knowing everybody. So I'm very thankful for finding that opportunity because I didn't think I could find that opportunity um, at another school district. And actually, Waukegan School District gave me that job uh, before my last month of working with Chicago Public School. So I had already been hired before the summer. Um, so I just want to say congratulations again to Shannon Sharp for going out on his own and, and, and finding another network to take him and then also starting his own shows on YouTube. It takes a lot of confidence uh, to do that. And a lot of African-Americans, especially young men and women, need to see that, that if somebody don't want you, there's going to always be something else out there. Just put yourself out there. Put your resume out there. Keep applying. Uh, keep working hard to find uh, new opportunities because you just uh, never know. And also, if you feel if you want a certain type of job, want to do certain things, even talking about sports, start a YouTube. I've said this before. 
Uh, the lead attorney has talked about this before. Uh, if you're around the age of 35 or under 35 and something that you would just really like to do, whether it's cooking or makeup or things like that, start a YouTube page and put yourself out there. You may, you never know. You may have a thousand subscribers and get the views and start getting paid for talking about things that you like to do. Now, um, Shannon Sharp is making maybe more than what he made on Undisputed just from YouTube. And now he's, and then on his on even with ESPN first take, he's making even more money and already at a, uh, uh, almost at 2 million, uh, subscribers and kevin samuels talked about how much money he made at a million subscribers and lead attorney talks about how much he makes at five hundred thousand subscribers just think about how much money santa sharp and cat williams made off that video and also uh, amazing job to cat williams and, and, and santa sharp coming together like o'shea duke jackson said they came together worked together as black men and and did that uh interview together um cat williams could have took that interview to, to vlad and, and then it would have been you know what I'm saying? More money being taken out of our community, but he said he did it with Shannon Sharp. And now Shannon Sharp going to probably get even bigger interviews with more comedians and more athletes and more entertainers. You know, it's getting so big now. Uh, like uh, O'Shea said, you could possibly see Oprah on the uh, Uncle Shea Shea uh, YouTube channel. So just congratulations again. And this gives me hope about just continue to grow, continue to work with people. Um, I got a lot of things coming down, going, coming down the pipe as far as even starting a new uh, sports show with my uncle and, and it's just something that you continue to work with people and work together you can you can just make great things and also if you believe in yourself and you bet on yourself and you just keep working hard that great things can happen as far as with your own channel and again what uh Swope said it I, I never thought that this is something that could take off I'm not getting paid for it yet but I'm halfway to 2,000 subscribers and getting to this Waukegan school district the students at my school now are very supportive of this channel. They, Coach Wolves, when are you going to make another video? Coach Wolves, when are you going to, um, how, are you going to, when are the days you're going to have your videos? What's, what's going to be your schedule? Hey, Coach Wolves, I listened I listen to your last video. So it's building an audience of how much the kids in the Waukegan School District support me. And I never thought I could get that, but change the school districts. And now I have that support from other students that I never thought I have that support of. So if you're out there and you're thinking about something to do, please start. Please go out there on your own. Don't be afraid and, and start a YouTube channel. Start something. And you never know how much it can grow into. Start that business. You know what I'm saying? I never thought that my social athletic recruiting business could be this big. My uncle, uh, William in Memphis, had a, um, believed in me to start the business. He saw my passion on helping athletes. So I went out there and started, to, started the business. Now I'm working, not just working with basketball players, working with football players, baseball players, men's volleyball players, connect, com connecting with coaches all over the world, uh, working with athletes all over the United States. I've never even met or seen some of these athletes in person, but I'm working with them because I, someone believed in me and then I carried the torch and c continued to do it. And I believe that this uh, uh, Swope said it will continue to grow. I don't know how big it could get, but I believe it continue to grow and I will continue to work hard. But whatever you want to do, try your best, continue to work hard, continue to find that uh, who's going to support you, even if it's just that one or two people, um, talk to those people, keep getting leadership and, and, and confidence from them to keep supporting your dreams and keep working. Again, Shannon Sharp, man, congratulations to, to, your, to your great show and to the amazing interview. You did an amazing job on the interview. Cat Williams, thank you so much for supporting Uncle Shay Shay and uh, with Shannon Sharp and his show, and thank you for all that you do and the amazing comedian that you are and all the great things that you do for the black community. Shannon Sharp, thanks you for all the amazing things that you do for the black community. Again, this is uh, Nathaniel Swope's The Swope Setter signing out, and you all have a good one.